Welcome to my mad world of thinking and developing things. My next task for this week, uh, which I'm going to be testing, is to make a thermometer. Thermometer, as you know, measures temperature. And with the work I'm doing at the moment, my plan is to make a thermometer so that we can test different types of solar energy storage devices. As you know, my principle has always been making things out of junky finding cupboards. As this gives opportunity for children around the world to do things. So, thermometer, the first thing I was thinking was making a thermometer out of a Coke bottle or drinks. As you I'm always thirsty. So, the original plan was to take that top off, like so we have two of those, put a tube inside one, put a cap back on top of it, put it there, then similar, put another neck like that onto the other side, sit it into there, drill a, drill a hole, glue it and put a straw in. Which is doable, I'll, I'll, I'll test that later on anyway. Then, you got me thinking, let's open my store cupboard, see what's in the store cupboard. Maybe there's something there we could potentially use as a pre-built um, liquid holder. So, looking for the store cupboards. You can see, I'm next to my daughter's chives. Potentially, I could make a bottle out of that. Put a straw for the top of there to see what's in. Again, looking at the basket of sauce. If you measure temperature, you want something that's hot always. Okay, pardon the joke. But then you can see I, I, I put a straw for the top of there that would hold liquid. Similar, small bottle of vanilla essence. Similar as the Basco. Uh, read my wife's um, air fresheners, potentially got some bottles there, nice cute little ones there. If I can find some empty ones, that'd be really good. If not, I may have to sort of um, acquire these somehow without anyone noticing. Again, this is a nice shape, a salt jar. But again, all these things can be impractical. You need to break things or Eat a lot of cheese sauce, which has side effects. Drink loads of soda. And the other issue is the straw is really thick. As you can see, the, the diameter of that is really thick. So I went to my thinking place, um, thinking, thinking, then you, you always get a eureka moment. So I'm looking at um, a very simple idea using a biro. You, you've got built-in liquid holder there. You've got a tube which is now gauged out. So I'm wondering is to chopping the end off there, drain the ink out. Potentially thinking out loud, you could use some of the ink to dye the water with. So I'll, I'll test that. Okay, that's an idea. Failing that, I'll, I'll, I'll dye the water with uh, turmeric or beetroot. Or I may use mouthwash. I have found a mouthwash that has a, a small bit of alcohol in it, um, which you use to rinse your mouth out. That may be a potential. But um, I will be making my first thermometer out of this. The idea will be to have about that one sticking out then you can see on, on the biro it's a hole there which i need to get rid of somehow so i'm thinking of cutting it there cutting it there then use the bottom half with the bung to hold liquid then inverting the top part so when we do a thermometer it is contained within the tube so that's my plan for the thermometer simple everyone has a big pen or you can get hold of pens Biggest issue is going to be cutting it off and not making a mess when I'm 
drained ink out. So yeah, watch your space. Thermometer out of a pen.